This is mercury, the only metal that's liquid at room temperature, and it remains liquid all the way down to minus 39 degrees Celsius. Mercury can dissolve many metals, and it was once used to separate gold from other metals to obtain pure gold. But unfortunately, mercury is highly toxic. It also has a very high density. These two milliliters weigh nearly 30 grams. Here I have some gold leaf, and it almost looks like it's being consumed by the mercury. If I keep adding gold leaf to the mercury, it dissolves just as effortlessly. It's not truly being consumed though. What's actually happening is the formation of a new compound or an alloy, a fusion of mercury and gold. When different metals combine to form a compound, it's termed an alloy. With mercury, these alloys are called amalgams, just like the old amalgam fillings they once used in dentistry. Now, I'd really kind of like to get that gold back. To recover it, I dissolve the amalgam in nitric acid. Since nitric acid doesn't react with gold, it dissolves the mercury instead. And the gold is left behind as a fine powder. This is what powdered gold looks like. Brown and typical for metal powders, not shiny. The shine would return if I melted it down into a solid gold nugget.